festering. Nothing was happening with it until we actually heard from her friends and family, and we reignited the investigation here on our program. And it has resulted in a new investigation that apparently caused the husband, uh, a well-known restaurateur, a former chef at a fine dining restaurant, to jump off a cliff. After his wife disappeared, she was the hostess there at the restaurant, he moved all of her belongings out within days into a dumpster. He moved his new girlfriend into the home and plants her in as the new hostess at the restaurant. Well, that didn't smell right to me, and the investigation embarked from there. But now a stunning and sick development. Do we finally discover what has become of his wife, Dawn? All this time, we have continued our own investigation. Is it true he slow-cooked his wife in a human crock pot? Matt Jarrell, take it from the top. What clues am I missing? Okay, now he allegedly told cops that he slowly cooked his wife Dawn for four days in a 55-gallon drum. Now what he did was he actually boiled her body in water and then discarded her remains in his restaurant's grease pit. Now, in addition, Nancy, not only that, but there was the skull was remaining. He actually hid the skull in his mother's attic. Now, police went to the mother's attic to try and recover it. They were not able to find it, but they do believe his story is true. We are taking your calls. Matt, if they couldn't find the skull, then why do they believe his story is true? Based on the evidence that they have found, including blood evidence in the home and statements from people, including... Well, Matt, the Matt, I don't mean to be argumentative with you, but Matt, we're the ones that came up with the blood in the home. We're the ones that reported that. I know there's blood in the home, but that doesn't, that doesn't tell me, that doesn't indicate to me that he slow cooked his wife in a human crock pot, all right? Just because there's blood in the home. Why do they believe that this story is true? They believe his story based on the evidence that they have found, including witness statements from the daughter when the, uh, the father ad allegedly admitted to the daughter what he had done to his wife, in addition to telling police and in addition to telling the girlfriend. I see. Okay, now you're talking, Mazzarell. Now you're making sense to me. So this is not just some drug-induced story he came up with after he jumped off a cliff after we reported on him. Now, this is something that he is actually telling other people, not just telling detectives while he's under the influence of drugs in the hospital, right? He's told other people this. Yeah, in fact, Nancy, he j allegedly joked with his daughter what he would do to get rid of a body, saying he would cook 